Hey everyone, welcome to Vlogmas Day 9. So for today's video, we are going to be talking about um, kind of like if we lived in an ideal world, what would I want to do for Christmas? And I'm pretty sure that's also what Nick is going to do because it was his idea after all. I thought that was a really cool video idea and I would love to talk to you guys about what I kind of would have wanted to do for Christmas if it were up to me and the world was in my control. Basically, my way of celebrating Christmas is pretty simple. I want the bare minimum of just hanging out with the people I love most. And basically, I would really love, again, in an ideal world, I would love to see Nick on Christmas. Um, I would like both of our families to be together, um, but our families don't really interact with each other, to be honest. Um, like sometimes my mom and his mom will like text each other, but that's basically it. So I just kind of wish that our families would hang out together and I don't know, get to know each other more. And I feel like Christmas is a really good way of doing that, getting to know people and just spending time off your devices, I guess. Um, I also love kind of having dinner together and listening to the Christmas classics, if you will. I like some of the modern Christmas music too, like the redos or covers, but I really love the classics because that's what I grew up listening to. But also I would love being around the cats, Nick's cats, well they were mine, but now they live with him. And um, I just think that having a cat on Christmas or Animals in general, pets, they, I consider them, and I think a lot of people consider them to be part of your family. And it would not be a complete holiday without them around and, you know, giving them some cuddles and attention. And even I agree with giving your pets treats and stuff for Christmas, like little gifts for them as well, because, you know, you can make it special for them. Um, make it a day that's not like the ordinary for them um, but yeah I love Christmas it's my favorite holiday um, it means a lot to me I not in the religious sense because I don't I don't believe in anything like that but um, to a lot of my family it's a lot about religion not my immediate family but to my grandparents and extended it means a lot Sorry if you see me rubbing my lips a lot. My lips are really dry and I just put on some chapstick because in the dry or the colder seasons, my lips get really, really dry. So I'm sure you guys can relate to that or at least some of you. Another thing that I love doing on Christmas, which I haven't done in the most recent years, is baking cookies. I know that's such a simple thing, but it I don't know, it just makes it really festive for me. I, I love baking cookies, I think it's really fun, and it's obviously a delicious aftermath, and um, you can never go wrong with baking cookies, unless you burn them, which has happened to me before, and ugh, I don't want any burnt cookies. But, um, oh, and another thing I wanted to show you guys, I did decorate a little bit. There's probably gonna be more decoration, like actual decoration videos um, coming to the channel. I'm not sure when, I'm not really sure if we're even able to do that because I don't know, I'm sure I've told you guys before, but Nick and I do not see each other on a regular basis. It's more rare that we don't see, or more rare that we do see each other than uh, if we don't. So we might not even be together until after Christmas. So, you know, I don't want to promise anything um, and then let you guys down because I know I would be disappointed or sad if one of my favorite content creators said, oh, I'm going to do this video, so be sure to look for that in the future, and then it just never happened. So don't want to be making empty promises, but I hope to make some decorating videos and other special fun festivities um, f caught on camera, basically. Um, I think it's really special and it contributes a lot to my Christmas spirit, which I've had a lot of trouble in the past years getting into because, I don't know, I've had some family issues for quite a while now 
and they've just kind of progressively gotten worse through the years as well as a global pandemic not really making it any better because we can't see anyone. Those are kind of a few of my um, Christmas wishes or at least what I would want to do if I had control of what happened. Um, but I guess just music, baking, eating, and I love watching people receive their presents, like especially if I've given them that present, I feel really um, happy, more so happy than I would if I would be the one receiving the gift. I don't know why I've always been like that, but I'm a giver, not a taker, and um, I don't have all the money in the world, obviously, so I try to divide my money evenly amongst the people who are important to me and each get them a few things that are very meaningful and that I put a lot of thought into. Um, so yeah, I might do some Christmas gift wrapping videos, but at the same time I don't know that I will because I don't want anyone to see their gift before they've even gotten it. So I hope you guys can understand if that also isn't just a guaranteed video, but I can guarantee some baking videos, um, probably with Nick if I'm able to see him. I hope you guys enjoy and can relate to some of, to some or all of these uh, wishes. And yeah, I hope that it wasn't too boring for you. Um, I don't have the most extravagant wants in the world. I just want time with family and friends and people who I care about the most all together and um, spending time with each other off devices and just getting away from all of that because I feel like the world is too wrapped up in devices as it is. I see it in my personal life. I see people not able to get off their phones, not able to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation without staring at their phone. Um, and I'm guilty of it too. So I just like to take that holiday and make it a little bit more family friendly and, you know, just spend time with each other, bond. It's a perfect time for bonding and giving and all of that fun stuff. So yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed my portion and hopefully you guys will really like Nick's portion because he really wanted to work hard on this one and I know that he was really excited for it. So I'll see you guys tomorrow for Vlogmas Day ooh, 10, I think. Day 10. Yeah, probably. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Is the mic working? I believe it is. So thank you guys so much for tuning into today's video. This is day nine of vlogmas here on the Nick and Anaya channel. Uh, yesterday it was a double upload. I finally promised and followed through with the double uploads. I'm sorry that it's taken me so long to actually follow through with something. If you guys have not seen yesterday's videos, make sure to go check them out. Link will be in the description to them. Day 7 and day 8 of vlogmas were uploaded yesterday. Anaya flew back from Arizona and me and Anaya ba ba I don't know what it is with me in English lately, but it just it does not cooperate. We baked some amazing, in my opinion, and in, in her opinion, they were they were iffy. But in my opinion, some pretty good Christmas brownies. Overall, they were pretty good. Again, if you guys want to go see those videos, check them out. Link in the description. Now, I'm not sure if this part of the video is going to come before or after Anaya's portion, but regardless, me and her have communicated, and we are going to be doing the same thing because Anaya did go back home yesterday. So then, um, she's not here again today. We're going to try and get back with the coupley stuff as soon as possible as soon as we are both able to see each other it is more it is more my fault because of my schedule you know i got sports and work and it's just blah. but regardless i hope you guys have enjoyed and will continue to enjoy the rest of this video and enjoy the rest of the videos that we upload for vlogmas if you guys have any suggestions for things that we do during this vlogmas uh, daily grind, you know, let us know down in the comment section below and also make sure I don't know if I said already I, I might have lost track of myself like comment subscribe share this with your friends and family It can help grow the channel. We've already grown uh, Eight subscribers in the last uh, month, you know, it, it might seem like a small number But to us it means something it means that we're, we're gaining more of an audience It's like the snowball. You just you gotta keep rolling it. You gotta keep rolling it. Eventually. It's gonna pick something up so in the event that this video is uh, first before Anaya's, we are going to be doing um, things, or how do I explain this? 
ways I want to spend the holidays in 2020 or ways we want to spend the holidays in 2020, but I have my own personal list right here. Uh, it is a decently long list. I'm going to, it's kind of like my gift ideas for 2020. Um, I'm going to be, I have a list going on and I'm going to be giving my explanation for all of these. So make sure you guys strap in, get some popcorn, grab your favorite beverage. I prefer water. I'm trying to cut out soda. I've only had one soda this year so far. Only one. I am proud of myself for that. Gotta cut out the sweets though. I know I just baked brownies and I'm about to bake like two more recipes at least. But I still gotta work on managing the amount of, of junk that I eat because it, I've let myself go a bit. But anyways, let's get into today's video with the first one on our list. Going and seeing Christmas light shows. I don't care how old you are. You could be 90. You could be two. If you see some glowing Christmas lights on a house that someone decked out and is probably gonna cost their electric bill tens of thousands of dollars... It's going to look fascinating. There are people right down the road here. I'm trying, making sure my camera is looking good here. I don't know if you guys can see my computer. I like the new setup, by the way. There is a ton of people down the road for me. It's about a two minute drive for me who just go all out every Christmas. I think Halloween too. They just deck out their houses. He's right across the street from where Anaya's cousin actually lives, which is actually a fun fact. But just going and seeing some light shows and being able to see the different decorations, you know, really take in the Christmas spirit this year is still something that I'd love to do. Regardless if we walk through it or if we drive through it, obviously if we do walk through it and there are other people there, which I, I doubt there won't be other people there, um, obviously the social distancing will have to come into effect, but you know, that's what's necessary. I, again, still seeing those lights, it's just, it, it's another way to still feel the spirit of Christmas, even though we might not be able to be with friends and family or as much, as many friends and family as we usually do. Uh, it's, it's a good way to just keep in mind the, uh, the, uh, innocent spirit of Christmas and the joyfulness of it. Another thing that I really want to do, and this is more specifically with Anaya, but also binging Christmas movies. I have, um, I have in parentheses here, Elf. The Grinch, Jim Carrey version, in my opinion, but I can go with the cartoon one, too. Uh, movies like that, you know, I, I love those movies. I grew up watching those movies. Uh, I remember the first time my dad showed me Elf, I lost my mind. I couldn't stop laughing. My stomach hurt from how much I was laughing. That movie will always be a nostalgic movie for me, especially around Christmas time. It's, it's going to be something, it's always going to be something I want to do. And I also remember growing up on what, it was, uh, oh, what was it? It wasn't Freeform back then. What was it called? I want to say ABC Family or something like that. It was something weird like that. Now it's Freeform, and they would they always would play you know the 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 Christmas movies. They they would have the the binge. It, it would be so much. It would be so much to take in at once. It would be amazing. I I loved it. And it, I, again, it's it's a nostalgic feeling for me. Plus, again, another way to take in the spirit of Christmas. Another thing I want to do. This kind of falls in with what we were doing in this last one, but uh, it's kind of different binging movies in general because me and I have actually already kind of had a plan to uh, just find find a weekend or find something where we can just chill relax and binge she's a Lord of the Rings fan and I I'm trying to get into it I'm trying to and I'm a big Star Wars nerd and she what what gives me I don't know if I said this already but what gives me so much hope I I, my, I feel like I said this in another video she says she she really likes Star Wars when she was younger, she just doesn't remember what happened, but she watched the older ones. She watched the ones from, from the, the episodes 4, 5, and 6. And those are the least eventful in my opinion. They're definitely impactful to the storyline, but the Star, the, no, it's Star Wars battles. The lightsaber battles in there are so much more eventful. There's so much more action in my opinion. I just, so much, so much potential. And it's another way to just relax, you know, uh, be with the ones you love, you know, it's... It's just another thing that I, I want to do, I really want to do now that uh, the holidays are running around. We did this in yesterday's video, or one of yesterday's videos again, I'm going to bring it up though. Baking Christmas treats, who doesn't want to bake Christmas cookies or anything like that? Who doesn't want to do that that celebrates Christmas? That's just, it's like, especially, especially for Santa. When you're a kid and your parents ask you, hey, do you want to leave Santa some cookies? And you're like, yeah. You, I don't know what kid doesn't want to leave Santa cookies. And then... You get to go bake them? That's that's awesome. Now that I'm older, I still want to bake. I still want to bake cr Christmas treats. I just baked brownies yesterday. I want to make some peanut butter, whatchamacallit. I have recipes saved on my phone. I really want to bake Christmas treats because they always taste amazing. They are always so sugary and always give me so much energy. Also, although I make a... I kind of feel crappy afterwards. I feel like I'm... 
fatter. But it's it's still an amazing feeling getting to bake Christmas treats, especially with your mom or dad or whoever your parents or guardians are. It's just, it's an amazing, it's, I know I keep saying the same thing over and over again, but it's because it truly is an amazing feeling. It's an amazing memory. It's, it's a way to, an, it's a way to uh, really just take it all in, especially this year. Baking Christmas treats is another way to just try and get past this horrible year. This is a more basic one that's next on my list. It's uh, I just have it called being with the ones I love. You know, my mom, my dad, Anaya, my extended family. You know, I, I just saw my grandma for, or, I mean, she's come over a few times, but I've been like busy and stuff. And so I haven't really gotten to talk with my grandma that much. So my grandma, I just saw my grandma the other day. Uh, I wasn't able to see my uncle Jeff because you know, he lives in Indiana. You know, that's it's a decent drive away. And then when there was an opportunity to this whole virus thing and it just it put that on hold same thing with my other uncle and it was it was just upsetting because you know we usually we usually spend thanksgiving together we usually spend christmas together and this year we might not get to do either of those and it's it, it just sucks because i you know i've i remember just every year it's it's been it's almost like clockwork because it, it is like clockwork really just seeing each other and it was it was a nice way to catch up because besides that we really didn't see each other that much on uh, besides like birthdays and you know it's you know what i'm saying so just being able to try and get together with the ones you love is is a nice feeling especially around the christmas time the creator in me put this on here but creating content for the channel or at least both of my channels i haven't i haven't uploaded the beast 44 gaming in a few days but i'm hoping to get that done either tonight or tomorrow uh more likely tomorrow but i'll probably be editing tonight so We'll see. But I just, I love creating. I love creating, I, especially now that Vlogmas is going around. I didn't know Vlogmas was a thing until Anaya brought it up a few weeks ago. And I honestly liked the idea of being able to do videos every day. It's a way for me to get my creative inspiration now. It's it's just a way for me to, to be productive. First of all, my mic audio is like way quieter than it needs to be. I just realized that in the other recording. Also, I don't know why my frame skipped out. I'm probably going to have to put an edit note editor's note in there when i when i edit this but uh i apologize if my face was frozen in a stupid faced frame for a matter of minutes but as i believe i was saying creating content is just what i love to do i love to create i've been a creator ever since i was young i i don't know i don't know if this sounds weird but i'll create sports teams i probably have over 300 sports teams in notebooks somewhere around the world I, I really, I create, I love creating uh, characters and following their stories. That's kind of why I got into Road to the Show on my gaming channel and just other stuff like that with like career modes. I, it's just, it's a follow as a story I'm able to create and it's just something I've always loved to do. So being able around the holidays to create this Vlogmas content, I love it. I love doing that. I want to keep doing it. I want to keep bringing you guys content. So that's another thing I want to do this holiday season. As always, what comes with the holiday season is gifts. So I want to be getting gifts for people. I've, I'm almost done with all my holiday shopping i know it's kind of late to be saying that but like i'm almost done i'm almost done i just gotta get a couple things out of the way and then i'll be able to get stuff done so and I, I'm, I'm a more giving person i don't really like receiving i like giving more you know i i so being able to get gifts for people again around the holiday season especially in the time of the year like this where we really don't get to see people that much for them would be another way to just keep them in mind and let them know i've been keeping them in mind but my iPhone corrected to hot childcare. I really meant hot chocolate. Hot chocolate on a cold winter's night, snuggled up in a blanket without spilling it on said blanket, and then watching said Christmas movies and eating said Christmas treats. Is is there not a more ideal Christmas situation than that? Drinking hot chocolate. It is so underrated. I I don't do it enough when I get the opportunity to. I always just I I, I think it's because I'm lazy. There are times when I'm just lazy. I don't feel like making it. And I, I really am, I'm in, in, in retrospect, I'm just a plain, plain, I can't speak, plain old idiot. Hot chocolate is amazing, especially with marshmallows and chocolate chips potentially. Hot chocolate, you just, it's like the Polar Express. Gotta love hot chocolate. And then the final thing on my list, and again, this is more a thing for me and Anaya, getting matching pajamas. What's more cute than that? I, I don't know what is more cute than that. Getting matching pajamas for the holiday season and then being able to do the rest of the stuff on this list. If I can, especially if it's a onesie, if I can get a Christmas onesie that doesn't look stupid on me and I actually kind of look decent in, I will, I am all for that. That, that. That's also one of the more couple things that I think would look really good for the channel is if we wore matching pajamas. I, spe I, I, I just think that's cute. I think that's cute wearing matching pajamas for the holiday season and being able to just... Uh, do that set that up and just be able to laugh about it in retrospect and enjoy it in the time that it is occurring 
it's just a great way to enjoy the holiday season. I, all of these are great ways to enjoy the holiday season, in my opinion. I know I keep I, I keep ending it with the same thing, but it's just because it's so true. It's so true that these are great ways to spend the holiday season, at least in my eyes. And it, it's uh, I'm just I'm ex I want to do all of this on the list. I want to be able to do all of this. I want to be able to to check everything off the list. Because then that's just a great way to spend the holidays in 2020. So I hope you guys enjoyed my list today. Uh, if you guys liked it, again, like, comment, subscribe, share. Share this with your friends and family. Again, I don't know if this is going to be before or after Anaya's. So if it was before Anaya's, make sure you guys tune into Anaya's part after mine. And if it was after Anaya's, hopefully you guys enjoyed both parts. If you guys want to see more content and want to be more notified uh, sooner when we upload. Because again, Vlogmas is every day, baby. And when it's not every day, you get double uploads on other days to make up for it. So if you guys want to be notified sooner about when we upload, make sure you guys subscribe and turn on the post notification. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to Nick and Anaya today. And I'll see you guys in the next video for Vlogmas Day 10. We are hitting double digits, baby. Let's go.